So, when did I realize I'm gay? Oh, it actually happened last week. In that particular moment when I saw that gay guy coming out of the rainbow on a unicorn and he blessed me with this magical spell and I became gay. Yeah, pretty much like that. Or at least this is how some people think this is happening. Clearly very exaggerated. But still, some people do think, no, they're convinced that this is a choice that people do on purpose. It's very hard for me to tell when exactly did I came to a realization that I might be into guys. But I do know that I had certain feelings throughout all my life. When I was a small kid, especially when I was a teenager, the other thing is that the obstacles that were around me and the society and some kind of other things did not let me, you know, go into that and actually evaluate my life. Even when I was a small kid in the kindergarten, I already felt that I'm different from other guys and I was just hanging out with my other friends who turned out also gay and we were just, you know, hanging together doing our little gay stuff that we didn't even think or realize at that moment that we're actually gay or something. Like the way that we spoke and behave and the games that we played, the topics that we discussed, these are normally things that a straight little kids probably wouldn't do. But then it's very hard for me to tell because, you know, I just had my experience like that. Maybe everyone's a little gay when they're kids. There were moments when I was a small kid, I clearly remember speaking to my mom once when <laughs> I very... <laughs> Fuck! It's kind of an embarrassing story, but uh, a very sexy handyman came to our house to fix something. And I remember, I don't know what age I was, but I was a small kid. I said something to my mom, which was... Uh, Do you also feel this tingly sensation in your stomach? When you look at this guy... <laughs> oh my god, yes, there was that. And when, when I was a kid, me and my friend, we were dressing up as princesses and we were just like running in dresses, pretending that we had the long hair. It's so funny how I always ignored all of these things and I never realized or embraced it. When I was a teenager, that would be around 14 to 13 or 15 years old. I had a very big crush on one of my friends. Um, he's straight and we did hang out together a lot because we did some after school activities. Uh, we were in this like theater club or whatever. And yeah, I never realized until one moment that I was into him and that and that I did have a very big crush on him until one evening when I just came home after we all hang out together, we were just having some fun me and him and some other people then I came home, I was like smiling a lot and I just couldn't... I just couldn't stop smiling, I was so happy and then, then I started to think like, like why? what happened? Like, why am I feeling all of these emotions? Why am I so happy? and then I was like, ha ha ha, maybe it's because of that guy and then in that particular moment, I clearly remember that. In that particular moment, when I thought about him, my heart, you know, like it, it kind of shrinked for a second. I was like, oh, what is that? What is that feeling? Why am I feeling this when I'm thinking about him? So that was very awkward. And then I started to think about him again and my heart shrinked again. And I was like, oh shit, oh shit, <laughs> I'm in trouble. I, I, I panicked because I was like, Hey, what is happening? I'm a guy, so I should be into girls. What is this that I'm feeling? There's like something, something's wrong here. And then I started to analyze and like evaluate my, um, let's call it relationship with him, like friendship with him. And I realized that, yeah, I do like to hang out with him a lot. And you know, I, I do a lot for our so-called friendship and relationship. And I was like, damn, this does not sound like a regular friendship to me. So there was that. However, I still was not embracing my gayness after that moment, even though I was like, as I said, something around 14, I think. Uh, I was still in doubt. I was in a lot of doubt. I also started to notice how often do I look on guys and not just like, you know, just looking like that. I was like, 
kind of staring and in, in because I was interested in them clearly it was considered to be something bad that you're gay when you're a teenager so clearly I was like trying to hiding it um, kind of pushing these thoughts away and I was like no 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 I'm still like into girls I was dating girls eventually yeah I had multiple relationship with girls but I couldn't say that these were like fake relationship I really like those people but what I think happened is that I confused my feelings and I liked them those girls as human beings you know as a friends and not as in a like romantic way and when you're a teenager you're still discovering things and because of the lack of information because of lack of representation i had no one to speak about this and i was just trying to figure out my way i clearly remember that there was phase when i was like a bit older so called maybe 18 or something i was like okay so i'm bisexual i like both girls and boys i like humans in general you know i'm interested in a human being and not in the gender or so i thought so i was trying to find this balance in all of these emotions that i felt and well clearly i was still in doubt because i did tell to myself that i'm bisexual and that i like both girls and boys but let's be honest i was not <laughs> interested in girls at all i was not even looking at them i was like my all my focus was on to guys but i was like no no i'm like you know it's like a safe space. This is not as bad as being gay, which is disgusting. This is def definitely not how a uh, human should think. Like, it's it's still uh, a queer sexuality. Bisexuality is still, you're still not straight. So it's not like an escape zone or something. No, 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 no. I remember the time when there were a lot of gossips going on in my hometown and people started to talk behind my back and saying that, hey, he might be gay or something. And I remember that one particular summer when it happened and it was because I was hanging out with uh, some other uh, people and there were some gays in there and I kind of spoke to them that I, yeah, like I, I feel the same feelings and probably they uh, then passed the rumors, which is also very sad that, you know, you say this to the gay guys and then they use it against you in a small town. Damn, fuck you, Ventsville. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I remember that other people were telling me like, yeah, someone told me that you became gay during this summer. <laughs> that was so fucking... One day I just woke up on this summer, I looked at the sun and I was like, it is time, it is time to be gay! Yeah. When I was older, around 21 i think i was in my first serious relationship with a guy and that felt completely different than how it was with any of the girls it was exactly how i all it wanted to be except for it was a toxic relationship and it was kind of shitty in a way but hey that's still my experience uh, some people are a good match some people are not so let's just leave it like that and still 21 still i was not fully embracing that i'm gay i started to kind of embrace it because i was more open with my friends about my intentions about my relationships eventually we hanged out together uh we made some pictures together i clearly remember a moment when i created um an instagram account of us together me and my boyfriend because i was like so into this thing and I did not realize that a lot of people will actually find out about it and this kind of was already a moment of me coming out because of how many people then sent me the pictures of the screenshot of that account is like hey is there something you want to tell me and there were the pictures when we were like kissing and like cuddling and I was like oh shit I was not living in Latvia in that moment so I kind of didn't care but when I did come back to Latvia oh my god did that backstab me I was imagine in my small hometown Ventspils I was walking on streets and people knew that I'm a faggot uh, or at least they called me like that loudly on the streets because of that and because of all of the rumors and all of the other things together it was yeah it was not pleasant at all thankfully 
for the few more years I had a lot of people that did support me and did like me and uh, kinda helped me to go through it. I also uh, was seeing a psychologist so I also spoke about my sexuality and how it worries me and that I wish that I was normal and stuff like that. And when my psychologist heard that he, he was like, are you insane? Never! Never even think about yourself in that way. He helped me to accept it. He helped me to embrace it and all together with all of the other colleagues and my other friends and uh, also I was back in Latvia then so uh, people from the music high school, even teachers, they were like, it was such a supportive and lovely atmosphere that, you know, I just bloomed with all of my gayness and I just could not stop being gay. <laughs> And as stated in my previous video, by the age of 26 only, I finally could understand, fully accept and not be scared of who I am anymore. I did come out, I made uh, a whole video about it actually, I'm not gonna repeat myself again. But yeah, I'm 28 now, sitting in my room, talking about this and reflecting on my life and thinking, damn! Damn, how long it fucking took me! The lack of information and representation back in those times, all of the stereotypes that we're like saying, all of these nasty jokes, you just can't, you know, be gay because you have to be a masculine guy who is into girls. And this is how the atmosphere was when I was growing up back in school. Like, you know, you couldn't show your emotions. But imagine this, how many people are still in doubt? How many people are still in a closet? Yeah, I'm 28 now, I'm thinking about this and, and uh, kind of being sad about how long it took me, but there are still people who are not accepting this. This video makes me sad. I was kind of I was kind of so positive about sharing this story, but now I feel sad, damn. So what I wanted to highlight from all of the things that I said today, there is no moment when a person becomes gay. There is a moment when they stop pretending and they embrace themselves, embrace their sexuality, and just sleep happily. Hopefully this video was helpful to someone and maybe some of the facts were interesting to you. Please do let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video and see ya!